Today I'm going to show you how to use uh, WordPress on your Windows computer with this easy to use program that I created called Local WP, which is short for Local WordPress, obviously. And I'll have a link to the download page, which is right here in the uh, description of this YouTube video. And I've actually already downloaded it just to save a little bit of time. But you'd want to scroll down and there's a 32-bit version or a 64-bit version. The 32-bit version will work on both uh, 32 and 64-bit Windows systems. The 64-bit, you obviously need a 64-bit operating system. So if you're not sure if you have a 32 or 64 bit, then uh, choose this 32 bit one up here. And this is the one I've downloaded, uh, the zip format. If you have 7 zip, you can download that one instead if you want. But the most common is zip, so this is the one I've downloaded. And it's already out here on my desktop, still zipped up. It's called Local WP. I'm going to just extract it to my desktop. And there it is. Pretty simple. There's a README file in there if you want to just check that out. But otherwise, you just want to double click on this extractor. And if you've uh, extracted it to the desktop like I have right here, this extractor by default will. Uh, extract it to the same folder but if you want to change it to another location you can so I'm going to just choose yes and it'll extract it right into this folder and there it goes it take a few seconds depending on the speed of your computer and once it's done extracting it it'll automatically delete this extractor which will leave you with just the files you need this isn't really installing anything, it's just extracting it, so nothing's really installed on your computer. And there it goes, speeding up a little bit. Okay, it says it's complete, and when I click this, this extractor will disappear. There it goes, so now local WP is fully extracted to right there so if I close it all the files are actually there and to start it up all you have to do is double click local WP there it goes now you can go if you click this button it'll take you to a the WordPress front page where you can start using WordPress here's the administration if you uh, want to mess around with database administration, it has PHP My Admin. This will take you to a link to just a WordPress online help location. There's some advanced settings in here. You don't really need to touch this if you uh, if you just want to use WordPress. But if you want to do some advanced configuring of the actual uh, Apache, PHP, or MySQL and such, you can use that. This is a shortcut to the README file that was in the folder. This will just display PHP info. You can restart or shut down. These are shortcuts to where the actual WordPress is located. So if I click there, it would open up the actual location to where the WordPress files are. Same with the themes folder. If I click that, there's the themes and the plugins there you go so let's go here to the WordPress front page and everything's ready to go you don't have to install a database or do any configuring or anything like that there you go it's just a default install hello world and if I come back here I can go to the uh, administration dashboard And to log in, you can see the username is admin and the password is WordPress. You 
And since this is, I know you might think that that's a simple username and password. Well, this is just on your local computer for testing. Nobody else on the internet can see it or access it, so it, it's not important to have a difficult username or password for a local setup for testing. So we'll log in. And there's the dashboard. You can add a plugin, a theme, the different settings to configure WordPress. It's just a means of playing around, testing different features on your computer rather than on a live website to test it out here locally before you make changes to a live site that you're not quite sure about or you just want to see how it looks first. It's a great way to test things out before applying it to a live site and even if you're not sure how to do something, if you mess, think you're going to mess something up, you can use this to figure out how to do it first and then do it to your live site. Say you had a really popular site where people were visiting all the time. If you start making changes and it doesn't work out right live, your visitors are going to go, whoa, what the heck is going on here? And you might even totally knock your site offline if you don't know what you're doing. So you could use this, test it out, make sure you know what you're doing first. And anyway, I'm going to log out of here. And the same thing if you wanted to access the uh, database PHP My Admin, you can see the username is root and the password is just blank nothing. Again, it's on your local computer, so nobody, nobody's gonna. Uh, it's not live on the internet, so it doesn't really need a password. So you just enter root and go. In the WordPress database is right here on the side if you want to you know if you wanted uh, familiar with database maintenance you can make changes to that pretty simple let's log out of there to shut down you can you can just close it out or click shut down either way one does the same thing and let's just close it And like I said, it is portable, so if you close it all out completely, and by portable I mean you can move it anywhere. It doesn't rely on a Windows installer. So if I wanted to make a new folder, let's say I just want to call it WordPress, I can stick that in there. And there it is. And you can see it'll run just as easy, easily from the new location. Let's go to the front page. And there it is again. You can move it to a external USB drive. You can put it on a flash drive. Wherever you want. Close it out. And say you wanted to get rid of it completely. All you have to do is... Yes, you want to delete it. And once it's deleted, that's it. It's gone. All right. Well, thanks for watching. That's how you can use it. Use WordPress on your Windows computer in just a few seconds, really.